Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rukakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone and rule well. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Knows in the gospel, broad love of the standard of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is a quick lesson through the Spirit. It says, Oprah's, Oprah's <laughs> spiritual leader sentenced to 99 years for graping girls accused of baby trafficking. <laughs> told you. We told you. I told you. <laughs> it was that quote on Friday when uh, his father got bitten ass by the dog. But uh, we told you that your little celebrities and your, 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 your heroes and all these people that you niggas, you, mainly you nigga women look up to, Ain't nothing but a bunch of fucking de sick, twisted, demented demons. Okay? I think this guy goes by the name of John of God. Uh, which is uh, Yachanan, well, Yahweh, <laughs> you know, John of God, right? Uh, basically is a mentor of Oprah Winfrey. Everybody knows who Oprah is. Everybody watched the show. All the black women, they put on a pedestal when she's nothing but the biggest feminist and demon among our women. Okay, Oprah sets the standard of rebelliousness, which Jake stated that she may have been, uh, what's that? Uh, not Aunt Jemima. Uh, it was a particular Mamie Two, not Mamie Two Shoes. It was basically going back into slavery times. But basically, man, she was like a, a sellout, man. You know, like people speculate that what if she could have been Harry? I don't think she'd be Harry Tubman. But, you know, they were speculating a lot of things that Oprah could have been one of those ancient uh, uh, left-hand witches on the left-hand side. Well, she is a witch. And she, you don't think she, she knew all about this, okay? Because she's involved in it. Going back into the Epstein profiles and cases, all these people's names came up. Clinton, Biden, Obama. Okay, the Obamas, uh, Tom Tom Cruise, what's his other guy's name? Tom Hanks, Oprah, Jay Z, Beyonce, all these demons who you niggas hold on a pedestal. Name has all been listed during the time of that Epstein's case, because they all partake in those rituals. Okay, that's that thirty, forty million dollar, a billion dollar club, man. You know, when you get to that level of sacrifice, and 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 and, and conducting in uh, ill behaviors and illicit sacrifices then that's when you become a billionaire man you know people like uh kanye west michael jordan jay-z these billionaires don't think that they don't have anything to do with what you're seeing here all right now i looked it up it says the impact on the victims their families and the global community cannot be overstated the sentencing of the john of god to 99 years in prison is a significant step towards holding him accountable for the immense suffering he afflicted on hundreds of innocent women and girls. And be honest with you, he should have received more time than that. <laughs> okay, that was which they say he's Brazilian, but that was a Jake without some type of uh, footing in the world. They would have gave that nigga a thousand years. They would have gave him a thousand years for every woman that he graped. All right. And what does Oprah have to say about this? Just please. You think she didn't know? Of course she knew. She's no innocent. She's not innocent. She never has been. You know? Uh, let's read a little bit up on it. American Military News. It says, Holo Texera de Feria, a popular Brazilian faith healer. And when you say faith healer, trust me, it got something to do with some left-hand magic because we know April, not April, Oprah, she embraces, I believe, like Scientology or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? I believe she embraced that particular, which is witchcraft. And plus, she's in Hollywood. You know, she has her own show. She's been relevant for a long time. Since I was born, Oprah was a hit a hit wonder. All the black women wanted to be like her. Okay, they, 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 man, they, they've embraced Oprah. They put her on a pedestal because she represents so-called black empowerment for the sisters, which Oprah is a fucking white supremacist if I've ever seen one. Okay, because the only thing she do is bash men. She's very condescending. Okay, she's not ethical at all. You know, she's not respectful. And just because she bought an audience all cars back in the 90s, everybody thinks she's some type of goddess or some shit. Man, fuck this bitch, bro. The Lord's gonna destroy her ass. She's gonna get a heavy judgment. But it says, who was formerly touted by Oprah Winfrey received a 99-year prison sentence Monday for multiple accounts of rape and sexual, rape and sexual abuse. 
According to and and uh, uh, and Jacia Brazil, the sentence delivered by Joe's Marco Bochat Lopez Filio is a result of charges regarding eight victims of sexual abuse during spiritual consultations with Feria between 2010 between 2010 and 2018. At Casa Don and Anico de Loya, I'm not gonna pronounce that, but it says the Western Journal reported that Feria, known as John of God, gained international fame for his alleged faith healing abilities, garnering support and admiration from celebrities like Oprah, former President Bill Clinton, <laughs> former President, uh, former Brazilian President Luis uh, Lula da Silva, actress Shirley MacLaine, and Naomi Campbell. Which shows you that all these particular people ain't nothing but a bunch of damn demons, man. You know? But anyway, it says, after receiving international fame, Ferry became entangled with scandals when over 300 women accused the Brazilian healer of sexual abuse in December 2018. One year after the scandal was discovered, Ferry was sentenced to prison for 19 years of the grape of four women. Wow, that's all you get? Since Ferrier's initial prison sentence, other sexual abuse cases have been brought up against him. Monday's 99-year sentence brings Ferrier's total prison sentence to 370 years, <laughs> 9 months, and 15 days, according to Metropolis. Okay, so we got 300-some plus years. <laughs> Interesting, right? All right. Uh, so let's get a couple of precepts. Like I said, this ain't meant to be long, but this is what happens when you people put your faith in these celebrities, man. Okay, these these so-called stars, these demons. As a matter of fact, let me go back to your stars, heaven. Because your stars are falling from heaven. Your celebrities, man. You know? This is the book of uh, Matthew 24. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, matter of fact, let's start at 29. It says, And immediately after the tribulation of those days, uh, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give out light. And the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of heaven should be shaken. OK, which, you know, symbolically, you could say the celebrities, but even then the nuclear missiles that represents that, too. But the stars that fall from their rulership, OK, because they're going in captivity. Like Mark 13, 25, and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven should be shaken. OK, the rulerships. Revelation 6 and 13 goes into the missiles and says, And the stars of he <clears throat> heaven shall fall into the earth, uh, even as a fig tree casts her untimely figs when she is shaken of a mighty wind. You know? But regardless of that, um, your celebrities are falling. Like the scriptures tells us in uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12 chapters, the daughters of music should be brought low. But this is uh, Nahum, one and, Nahum 3 and 1. It says, Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery, and the prey departed not, man. Okay, and who is the prey? Originally Esau Edom, but Jake is the prey now, okay, because we're powerless, okay? We have no protection outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know. But I'm, I'm gonna go down a little bit. And it reads, it says, Because of the multitude of whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft, okay, witchcraft, that's the big thing here. Oprah is a high level witch. All right, that's selling nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft, okay? So when you go back into like the trafficking and the Epstein and you go back to this uh, Sound of Freedom with this guy, uh, Tim Ballard, which all them guys were juiced in anyway. They all juiced in. They all had dealings with the, the, the trafficking of children, man. They all was behind it from Epstein all the way to, to, to Clinton to definitely Biden, you know, Obama's. They all was part of it, man. Every of your presidents and so forth, they all partook in this manner of debauchery. Okay, for you Jakes out there that want to justify Biden, Biden's daughters have alleged allegations against him for basically groping them and molesting them when they were younger in the shower and shit, man. He used to do a lot of ill shit, but Jake turns a blind eye to this all because, you know, he's speaking that, that, that soft speech. Oh, well, we're going to, and Jake will turn a blind eye to anything if you let him be a bunch of degenerates and let him run wild. Jake, they don't care if you murder their mother as long as you give them liberty to. To beat demons, Jake will give you a pass, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a shit. That's why two thirds of Jake got to be destroyed. You see? But it says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, which is America, because everybody came here to get rich, everybody came here to get sustenance, start businesses. And you've heard the average foreigner basically stating 
or commentating that, well, look, you know, we go to America and we send the money back home to our families, to our villages to feed our children, you know. But that is slowly dwindling because the morality of America is in the negatives right now. Okay, people are gearing up to leave this place and they don't see any future in it because there's not. You see, the only future here in America is destruction by ICBM nuclear fire, missile fire, thermonuclear destruction. That's the immediate future of what you call Babylon or America. Okay, and it's going to happen in our lifetime. I got faith in that. All the shit that's going on in the world now is it's a done deal. Alright, but it says the mistress of witchcraft that sell it nations through her whoredoms and families through our witchcraft, man. That traffic, bro. When you think of selling, you think of trafficking. Alright, look, go in Ezekiel 28. This is the book of Ezekiel 28. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 4. With thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. Because it's billions of dollars in trafficking. You know what I'm saying? In, in the abuse of children. It's money in that. Like, it was a lady, I believe, she was like, like, like down in, uh, I forgot what part of this uh, Latin country she was in, but basically I think she found like some kids or something being grabbed up or she seen them in a the truck or they were dead. I don't remember, but basically, allegedly she came up missing. Allegedly the cartel got ass because those cartels are basically uh, uh, hitmen for Esau. Okay, they are, they're like contractual agents. That's why they get away with traveling or, or trafficking a lot of shit, man. You know, but uh, regardless of that, you know, Esau Edom is behind it. And it says here, with thy wisdom and with thy understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten thee gold and silver into thy treasures. And by thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, okay, has thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches, man. Okay, so when you look up the word traffic, it goes into merchandise, traffic, or trade, or trafficker. <laughs> All right, and that's part of that industry. Uh... But uh, it says, therefore, thus says the Lord Yahweh, because thou hast set thy heart as a heart of the God, behold, I will bring strangers upon thee, the terrible of the nations, and they should draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they should defile thy brightness, man, okay, because you're being brought down, you're being exposed, okay, everybody is exposing Esau, that's why the scriptures have the hidden things of Esau have been searched out, all right, uh, this is the book of wisdom of Solomon 12, and I'm going to start at verses 4, it says, whom thou hatest, for doing most odious works of witchcraft, okay? Odious goes into detestable or despicable, okay? Something that's uh, not grandier at all. It's detestable. It's a low thing. It's odious, okay? Being, meaning detestable. It says the most odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices, okay? Go here. That's all this is. Sacrifices, man. Oprah is involved in it. Like I said, all these leaders, all your celebrities, all these demons. I mean, you can see it. All these freak shows, man. Okay? Especially Oprah. She's involved in it. You think she have no idea that our spiritual healer was involved in it? Of course. This bitch is a fucking demon, man. Okay? She's a straight fucking demon. But you black ass women out there, you turn a blind eye to it because you a bunch of demons. And you're possessed uh, by spiritual demon Satan. This is why you do the wickedness that you do. And don't act like that she didn't know. She knew. This healer was handpicked for her to go to, man. Because she's involved in sacrifices, man. Okay? Her good friend. You How the hell you gonna have a good friend but you don't know nothing about him? Like, that don't make sense. It says this man abused over 600 women and kept teenagers as sex slaves. Impregnated them and sold the baby's organs. Drenny. <laughs> sex trafficking and sacrifices. And I have to be careful, though, because I believe that uh, when you speak on certain things like this, they'll give you a strike, which is so fucking funny because YouTube claims to protect the innocent, innocent, innocent and, 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 and safety of people. But when you're speaking on these things, they want to violate you. But wait a minute, motherfucker. I thought you just said you're here to protect people's uh, what's the name, man, which show you that these YouTube producers or these these CEOs of YouTube, the Mamalakites, they juiced in this shit, too. That's why they only let certain people. Uh, uh, that's why they only let certain people uh, uh, bring out certain things on a platform. Like when you look at Redacted, Redacted man is 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 basically set up, man. Okay, yeah, they give out a lot of good information, but they say a lot of the shit we say. 
but we can't get away with half the things that they say. If we say anything that Redacted has said, if I even upload a Redacted video on my page, they will shut my page down, but yet those videos stay up there because they're under agreements and licensing with this fucking corporation, man. Okay, they're all in bed together. You know, that's why I said, man, through the testimony of Yahweh Shai and the blood of Yahweh Shai, that's the only protection we got, bro, because the fact that Jake is, is calling this shit out, man, Esau don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know, Yahweh Shai is going to protect us, but regardless, man, these people got to go down. And it says, whom thou hatest doing most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices, and also those merciless murderers of children and the vows of man's flesh and the feast of blood. And with their priests, because he was a priest on our left hand side, out of their midst of idolatrous crews, the parents that kill with their own hands, souls destitute of help, that the land which is esteemed above all other may receive a worthy colony of the most high's children. Okay? So that's the point, man. The Lord is going to destroy their ass, but this was the, the engagement. This is going back into when they used to sacrifice their kids into Molech, man. Okay? And it says, uh, nonetheless, Nevertheless, even those that spare us as men, and this since wasps forerunners of thine host, to destroy them little by little. It says, Not that thou was unable to bring the ungodly under the hand of the righteous in battle, or to destroy them at once with cruel beasts or with rough word, man. Okay? But executing thy judgments upon them little and little, Thou gavest them a place of repentance, not being ignorant that they were a naughty generation, and that their malice was bred in them, and that their uh, cogitation would never be changed. Okay, for it was a cursed seed from the beginning. So, you know, Jake is just fucking off, man. Okay, we was made to go off, but it gets down to the needy and gritty. Okay, because Jake was in some heavy idolatrous practice. Like, going to the time of Ezekiel, Jake will secretly uh, worship the queen of heaven in secret. That's why the Most High said, told Ezekiel, he said, look towards the north and see what the children of Israel do behind closed doors, man. Jake will worship you, how about Shimei, how shy openly, but behind closed doors, they're sacrificing to Tamu, Samaramis, the queens of heaven, and all these gods that we have today. Those were the same ancient uh, deities that was back in the ancient world, just under different names, man. So this place gotta go, man. The wicked, you fucking people, you gotta be destroyed. But I'm going to end it here, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about you, how about you? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.